Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Jung Lo again at the Dragon House. Um, today is October 8th. It's um, Happy Columbus Day uh, for a lot of people have a nice day off. And here we go. We're having a day off today for this gentleman. Drive six hours from Susansville, coming down to San Francisco at the Dragon House, um, signing his professional bow contract. Uh, we'll be competing on our upcoming event, Dragon House 30 at the heart of San Francisco, Keys Art Pavilion at November 10th. It's about uh, five weeks away. Now, Justin Baseman, uh, I don't have to introduce you much to all the publics. I'm sure every five fans in the Bay Area who knows who you are, you fought on all the, pretty much all the big, small organization in the Bay Area for the last decade. You know, you have almost 40 some pro fights. 41. 41 pro fights, and I know you dreamed to have 50 pro fights before right, you retire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember what you said before. Um, now, Justin, um, awesome to have you back, first of all. And Thank I know you. it's a rough route for you to fight. Um, coming off a, a few lost straight, um, definitely kind of take a toll on you mentally. And uh, on the upcoming event, you're going to have a rematch with Mikey Gonzalez. Uh, lost to him due to the Dragon House 29. Uh, a few months ago, now you want to get a redemption. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on in your mind, what's going through you in life, in in your in your fight career, and everything in general. Okay, yeah, man. Uh, coming up for this fight, it's 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 strong. It, it's 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 hard. You know, it's it's not easy coming off all these back to back losses. Uh, you got to be mentally strong. I also got stuff going on in my life that's not easy. Who wants to hear about the dumb shit? But. I'm trying to overcome everything. I, I know people are sleeping on me, but I'm bouncing back. And this next fight, this rematch, means a lot to me. So shout out to Mikey for giving me the shot. But it's going to be a different night, man. I'm going to turn things around. I've been watching them closely. I've been working hard, having a good camp. And like like you all know, I'm dying to get on that comeback, get back to my winning ways. So watch for me this next show. Don't sleep on me. I'm, I'm coming hard. What What's your thought? Like, I know Mikey, it's a very tricky technical um, stand-up striker and I know he's also a brown belt uh, in BJJ so what would you do differently on this upcoming fight compared to the last fight well the last fight you know I, uh, I wanted to stand and bang with him because he's a tricky fighter I'm a tricky fighter but uh, he got that good kick in and uh, good for him man uh, but this time I'm not gonna give him that opportunity I'm gonna stay on tight I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna outwork him I'm gonna grind on him I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him what a true veteran is, and I'm gonna redeem myself, man, and I, I can't wait. So don't miss it, I'm telling you, this is gonna be nasty. So now, for some of the people who don't know much about Mikey, Mikey's actually been around the game for a long time, uh, having a couple amateur fights, like probably way back, and then take a little break from MMA, and then dive back into this industry. Mikey's been around for probably like 10 plus years as well. It's just not quite as active as, as, as your basement. So on this upcoming cam, I can't wait to talk to you know Mikey. Probably in a couple of days, I'm gonna do an interview with him as well and see where he's coming up from, what he's what he wants to do. Like I'm very surprised both you guys actually talked after the fight and decided to have a rematch. And then uh, after when you hit me up and he hit me up like less than five minutes after he <laughs> hit me up, like let's do the rematch. So I'm like, all right. I mean, I'm more than happy to see um, two V OGs going at it again. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what happened on the last fight. I know when you guys standing in and out, you were pressure a little bit, boom, boom, do some combos, and then he did some type of little hook kick and kind of land on your face, and then um, you off balance a little bit, and he capitalized that split second, and that's how he got the victory. What's going through your mind at that moment? Well, you know, during the fight, um, I remember uh, him getting me with a good shot, and I was thinking to myself, okay, if that's all you got, you're in trouble tonight. I had, you know, good cut. I was feeling good. I wanted to pressure him, but I was still feeling him out. And um, I, I remember coming off the fence, coming forward, and he throws that crank kick, and it landed perfect, man. My nose was busted up for like three weeks, man. That was a good shot. When I hit the ground, um, the ref was good. He let me stay in there and take some shots. So I was trying to recover. I just I couldn't get it together. Sometimes you get a hard shot, you can bounce back, and sometimes you're not the same. You know, that's just a fight game. Only real fighters know about that. But what I'm saying is that fight really woke me up. Like, that was good, you know? Like, uh, these losses that I'm taking don't faze me. I've done so much in the sport. You can't take that away if you wanted to. You know, people that know me know what I've done, and I'm bouncing back. And this next fight, Mikey, it's going to be a different raw deal, baby. Trust that. 
That's awesome. So, I mean, I, I always respect, Justin, what your opinion on everything, especially in the MMA game, because you definitely true veteran bending around been around for so long as a lot of promotion you fight for regional show they not even exist anymore and you are holding a lot of titles four title holders i mean you fight for dragon house contender a couple of times and it's like definitely a truly og um now on this upcoming camp i know you live in the really far away in susanville so what gym do you usually go train to get prepared for your for your fight uh, you know, I go to a gym on base. I work at the Army base, and I also go to Anytime Fitness for my for my weights. I want my sponsors, so shout out to them. And I'll, I'm going to start shooting out to Reno and training with Zach Vanell. Shout out Zach Vanell, Johnny Mencia, boxing coach. I got so many people coming together for this camp because I have to reach out. I, I have to get people to push me, and so this camp is going to be a money camp. I'm gonna be spending money, I'm gonna be traveling, I'm gonna be getting ready, I'm gonna be grinding, I'm gonna be pissed. So when I come in, I'm coming in hard as shit, man. I'm not even, I'm not even telling you, I'm, I'm gonna show you. So show up and watch it. That's awesome. Now, um, any special sponsor you wanna shout out to? I know you've been around, there's a lot of people supporting you, you know? Oh yeah, a lot of help this camp from some of my sponsors. Uh, you, you see Blackout on the shirt, you see some of my sponsors, my Bite Me Mouth Guards, big sponsor. TGB, Renee Pryor. I got so many good people in my corner. Shout out to all of you, my fight fans, my family, my friends. Thank you, Long. Thank you for everything having me. You know, <laughs> seriously, like I, I got good people in my circle, man. That's why nothing ever fades me in the MMA world. As long as you're real about yours, people will treat you right, do the right thing, fight hard, give you all, and, and do the damn thing. You know what I mean? So, November 10th, baby. I can't wait. I wish it was tomorrow. Well, it's coming around the block. Five weeks out. Um, this is the week we're working on a flyer, posters. It's a really, really big stack card. We have a three title fights on the line. The heavyweight main event um, will be a two upcoming young stud. We'll be fighting for the uh, for the title belt for the heavyweight. We have also a 45 heavy, a 45 by a belt fight. And also, most and not the least important is the 155 pound belt. We are against uh, Check it out on my website, and you're gonna see the fight card layout. It's, uh, we got a guy, it's like a Ben and OG. The record's 20 wins, five losses against the Mongolian unbeaten king fighting for the 155 belt. It's nice. gonna be cool. And then we also have a couple 55 who will be on this card. We'll be fighting on the contender spot. So whoever wins will face the 155 champ on the upcoming event. It's gonna be an epic fight. For so check, check out more information about the fight card layout, dragonhousemma.com. Um, and also this event is live stream pay-per-view any one of you guys can make it to the event check out on live stream pay-per-view uh, Order your pay-per-view voucher from dragonhousemma.com now if people want to get a hold of you uh, Justin to get tickets to come watching you fight. How can people contact you? Uh, you know social media. I'm on everything Facebook Twitter Snapchat you freaking name it. I'm on it. <laughs> Instagram and it's all under Justin base really easy to find so hit me up on social media uh, you know, come out to the fight. You don't want to miss this show. Uh, he puts on some great shows, great event. We always go hang out afterwards. It's, it's a good weekend. It's a good deal. Come check it out. This is going to be awesome. So um, any special people, special training partner, person you want to shout out to? Uh, this huge, fight? huge shout out to my daughters, Kalina Ksenia. I love you too. Uh, I do all this for you. Every step I take is for you. I love you. And you got two daughters, huh? Kalina and Ksenia, man, they're both real bad. It's just too bad. Ah, don't mess with them because they'll give you some of this. Ah. <laughs> All right, well. We love you too. <laughs> well, we look forward to put up another epic event for, uh, for the, all the MMA Five fans in the Bay Area. Dragon House 30. It's a huge celebration for our show to make it to a 30 pro show in the regional scene. Now, we, I think we're the last emperor in California. And yeah. beside UFC, Bellator, all these big... Big shows and the global wise and the regional show. I think Dragon House make it ten years. We are the biggest regional show and the best representative uh, regional show in California. So come check us out. You holding our belt? That guarantee go places. This is definitely a best a Seven Stone local regional show in California. We'll see you guys November ten. Um, shout out to my sponsor, the North Cal Fight Shop, and then. Uh, also, MMA Raw photographer. We'll see you guys out there. Any last one? I want to shout out to anyone else. Much love to all my fight fans, all my folks. We'll see you soon. All right, November 10th. Good to have you on board. Thanks, Justin.